Hello everybody, today we will uh, be explaining investment characteristics with assets. So first of all, how to manage an individual asset trader. Uh, we should know what's the meaning of investing. Investing in the process of using your capital and cash put it to purchase a financial asset. What a financial asset? Say example, a stock. Just a security in the stock market. So when you buy a stock, you are going to sell it on a higher price. That that is called capital gain. Like ten dollars you sell it for twelve dollars or fifteen dollars. So you make a capital gain of twenty percent, fifty percent, etc. So what's the meaning of income? Income that that stock pays dividends that generate a period of cash flow. They have a stock each year or each six months pay dividends so it's a period of cash flow. So when you invest, in, uh, let's see here. When you invest, this in process of purchase financial asset, you gain whether income or capital gain. One of them. So, how to calculate my return? So, the simplest method is called the holding period return. How to, uh, that's the rule is P1 minus P0 uh, plus CF, cash flow or dividends, divided by the uh, PM. So, example, unless you buy a uh, stock XYZ stock at $20, stock paid dividends $2, and after two months later, the investor sold it at $25. So, how do you calculate it very simply? The 25 minus 20 plus 2 the dividends divided by 20. You can make another calculation, make 25 divided by 20, 25 plus 2 divided by 20 minus 1. Would give the same as We have a more complex uh, method which is called compounded return as you see here. Uh, the returns are generated over, over a number of holding periods, not just one, but we have more than a holding period. The compounded concept is, as you see here, is earning interest on interest. So, this year. The first one, you are assuming that those dividends you take, you didn't invest in. But here, the interest I got, or the cash flow I got, I reinvested. So, let's have an example here uh, about the uh, compounded return. Assume that the stock return is compounded perfectly as for 10%, 93%, 8%, and 6%. So what's the return? What's the component return? So we, as as we see in our rule, we just put the numbers one plus two percent, one minus three percent, one plus three percent, one plus six percent, one plus five percent. We get the answer. So that's how to calculate your compounded return. It's more accurate and more usable than the HPI. Uh, that's as a beginning for in investing. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will be uh, explaining the effective annual return, unweighted return, and see you in the next tutorial. Have a good day, bye bye.